Okay, if you're like me, when I wake up, when it's time to go to church and it's winter time, it's so cold outside. I turn the TV on and realize it's like five degrees outside. I'm like, okay, how can I go to church in my bathrobe and slippers and no one will notice? So today I'm gonna share with you three things that you can add to your wardrobe or you may already have that can make dressing fun for church. You'll look pulled together and still be warm. Hi, I'm Dawn with Just Doing My Best. I'm so glad you're here today. I'm here every week with a brand new video for women over 40 and women over 50 who just want to look and feel our very best where we are right now. I hope you'll find me at justdoingmybest.com and I hope that you will come over to Instagram or Facebook and find me there and say hi. And I've got a fun insiders Facebook group. So I hope that you'll check that out. You know, when it's really cold outside, I feel like we just want to be cozy and we want to be comfortable. But when we go to church, we really want to look good. We want to look like we gave it some thought. So today I've got three things that you may already have in your wardrobe, but there are three things that are just super fun. I think they'll put a smile on your face. They'll help you stay warm and help you feel like you're really pulled together and in style. So let's get started. So the first fun thing that I wanna talk about are tights. Now, if you haven't worn tights in a little while, I want you to stick with me on this, okay? Now, raise your hand if you're just like me, and in the summertime, you don't show a lot of leg, okay? Um, I work out and I like the way my legs look when I have leggings on. In real life, I don't like my 52-year-old legs and all the veins and all the eek. And so I don't wear a lot of shorts. I don't wear a lot of shorter skirts. I don't wear a lot of shorter dresses in the summertime. I just don't feel comfortable. So my dresses are a little bit longer. My pants are, um, you know, maybe cropped length or ankle length in the summertime. But in the winter time, we can wear skirts. We can wear dresses. We can feel really feminine. We can feel like a girl and wear tights and no one is gonna see all those things that we're really self-conscious of. That's why I really like tights. I have a skirt that I'm gonna show you a picture of that uh, once I get it on, it's not super, super short. It's not a mini skirt, but once I get it on and it gets all adjusted and I have a meal, it's a little bit shorter than what I'm normally comfortable with. Okay, I can throw on tights and boots with that skirt and it looks fantastic. I love the way it looks. Now, would I wear that length skirt without hose or tights or whatever? Probably not because I wouldn't feel comfortable. But occasionally, you know, I wear pants a lot. I wear jeans a lot. So occasionally I'm like, you know what? I really wanna feel like a girl. I really wanna feel feminine. In the winter time, I can throw on a pair of tights or boots with this skirt and I can feel really feminine because let's be honest, all of the other times of the year right now, hoes are really not in, okay? They're really not fashionable. You and I grew up wearing hose and they're like makeup for your legs. Like they cover a multitude of sins, but they're not really fashionable and they're really hard to find. In the winter time, you know what? We can wear that skirt, we can wear that dress, we can throw on tights and feel really good and no one has to see any of those things on our legs that we don't love in real life. So the second idea I have for you for looking great, feeling fabulous and still staying warm when you go to church in the winter time is a great coat. I really feel like winter coat is kind of an afterthought. We're in the middle of winter and freezing and go, oh my gosh, I really need a good winter coat. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to find a fabulous winter coat that really makes you smile and get it while all the sales are going on, while all of the holiday sales are going on, where everyone is having 30% off, 40% off, 50% off or more, get you a great coat that is really going to make you feel 
fantastic when you leave the house. Literally, when you wear a coat in this color, no one is even gonna notice what you're wearing underneath. You could leave the house in your pajamas and no one would notice because you have a burgundy coat on. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this coat right here. And it also comes in gold, which is another beautiful color. If you don't get this coat, that's okay. But here's what I did was this is a faux fur coat, very, very in fashion right now. Get you something in faux fur, whether you get it short or long. This one is knee length. I'm 5'4". This one is knee length, and y'all, it is $100, $100 even. Most winter coats are like $200, $300, $400, $100 even, and that's before it goes on sale. So get you a great coat in a beautiful color. Please make sure that it's lined. Get you one that's dry cleanable so that you can take it to them, they will take care of it, and you don't have to worry about it. You really only have to dry clean your coat once a year. You just dry clean it at the end of the season and don't worry about it. But find yourself a fabulous faux fur coat in a beautiful color that will put a smile on your face when you leave the house. So my last idea is to get a great, big, wonderful, fluffy, muffler scarf. This one is about 18 inches wide and it's about five or six feet long. I'm going to post in the description below. I'm going to put a few links for some, but what I want you to do is find one in a terrific color. If you're following my series on um, building your best wardrobe, then if you if you saw the first one, I talked about picking your colors, and pink is one of my colors. I like to add it in as much as I can, and it's super, super flattering, so you get a great color close to your face. What this giant muffler scarf is going to do is it can do a couple of things for you. First of all, if you live someplace where it is so, so, like, frigid cold in the winter time. You can definitely wear it over your sweater, over your coat. You can wrap it around. You can put it over your head and stay so, so warm with this. If you live someplace like I do, I live in the South and it, it can be 25 degrees for three days in a row and the next three days it's 45 or 50. And then the whole next week it's 10 degrees and then the two weeks after that it's 45. We just don't know. I don't have a whole lot of great big heavy winter coats. I do get a lot of use out of something like this and because it's so wide, I could wear just this to church sometimes. And let's be honest, no matter what the weather is like, when you get in church in summertime or in the wintertime, it seems like I'm always sitting underneath the vent always. So this might be something I might take my coat off and actually just wear this during church in the wintertime and I could still look good. So get a great big beautiful muffler type scarf. Again, I will link some in the description and I know that you will get so much use out of this whether you wear it with your coat or you wear it completely on its own. I think this is just something that's gonna help you feel wonderful, put a smile on your face, feel like you look pulled together and still stay warm when you go to church in the winter time. I hope that all of these things were helpful. Please leave me a comment and let me know what was your favorite tip. And please let me know if you're already following me on Instagram and Facebook. Be sure to come over there and say hi. So until next time, I hope you go out today and you are blessed and you do your best. Mm -hmm.